Hi, kids. Hey, um, all right. Today, we're going to do a special case of the Bernoulli equation, um, which is actually Torcelli's law. Um, and, and I'll talk about that. So imagine, imagine that I have this really giant vat of water. So like this is super duper wide. And my giant vat of water has a teeny tiny hole at the bottom. Okay. So that means the water is going to, you know, come out of here. Uh, I'll have my little peeing bottle here. Okay. So this is, this hole is teeny tiny compared to this hole. Okay. Does everybody, everybody follow that? Okay. All right. Or compared to the top. So remember when we're doing Bernoulli, okay, just like conservation energy, because Bernoulli really is conservation energy, you got to pick your points, okay? Um, so in this case, let's pick our points. So what are my points going to be? Well, I'm going to pick right here where it comes out, because, uh, duh, you know. And I'm going to call that point one. And then my other point that I'm going to pick is going to be right here at the surface, and I'm going to call that point two. I know it's crazy, point one and two. I, I came up with that on my own. Um, so then what we're going to do, okay, is we're gonna think about our Bernoulli equation. So here's my Bernoulli equation. And then you try to look at, well, is there anything that's the same? Well, what's the pressure right here? Oh, that's gonna be the atmospheric pressure. Hey, guess what? This is open to the atmosphere. So what's the pressure right here? Oh, that would be the atmospheric pressure, which means goodbye, goodbye. Okay, so now I end up with this and this. But here's the next thing, and this is our assumption, okay? Um, we know our continuity equation, which was, if you remember, A1V1 equals A2V2, okay? And we said the area here is huge, okay? Compared to the area here, which is teeny. Okay, well that means this speed is gonna be teeny compared to this speed. Well, if this speed is gonna be teeny, to, we're gonna make a little assumption and we're gonna say, as long as this is big, okay, that this speed that the fluid is gonna go down is essentially gonna be zero, okay? So I realize it's not actually zero, but for this, we're gonna say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna call this essentially zero, okay? Well, if that's essentially zero, um, then you end up with, this is your equation, rho g h1 plus one half rho v1 squared. Again, this, we get this from potential energy versus volume, kinetic energy versus volume, and then rho g h2, uh, potential energy. Okay, now, you guys ready? I am going to say, if I want to do this, well, I'm going to get, if, if you do your math, you're going to get H2 minus H1, which is really just that distance. So I'm going to call that H, not H1 or H2. Does everybody see that? This would be H2, this would be H1. That's going to be the important distance. So then I would end up with 1 half rho V1 squared equals rho G h, where again, that distance, and then do some de Broglie math, we're going to do some canceling, and then you end up with, hey, you know what, v squared equals 2 g h, v1 equals square root of g h, and there you go. This would tell us, at least initially, you know, if you let this run for a super long time, well, this height is going to get smaller, and so it's going to get slower, but Initially, that will tell you how fast the water is going to come out. I know. Amazing. Bye, kids.